And, oh no. Oh no. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And in today's video, we are doing a food review and snack taste testing. Mm. So, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's jump right in with some drinks. So, today, <laughs> we have our glasses of water. We always have a glass of water with us when we do this, but we've been enjoying picking two different drinks, and then whoever likes which one better, they get to keep that one for the day. It just <laughs> works out with us. And there's always one that I like better and he likes more. So, today's two drinks, because we've been liking the Olipop root beer so much, I decided to grab this from Trader Joe's. It is Virgil's Zero Sugar Root Beer. So this is actually zero points, zero calories, and it does have monk fruit extract. So that's what it's sweetened with. And then the other drink that we got to try is two points. This is Hum Probiotic Kombucha. It is energy. It is supposed to be cherry cola flavored. So it has 35 calories for the can. This one has eight grams of sugar. It is two points, like I said, and it has... 115 milligrams of caffeine because it is the energy one, but this was the flavor we wanted to try. So let's go ahead. Ready? All right, I got the kombucha. Spilled everywhere. Cheers. Cheers. This tastes like watered down root beer a little bit. It's pretty good. I think it'd be better if it was cold. I don't know why that one's not cold, but. Oh. What, you want me to say it again without me? Yeah. Okay, now we're switching. So I have the kombucha. Cheers. Cheers. It doesn't taste like cherry cola. It does not. But it's good. It is good. So that one's like more refreshing. This one tastes like, it does taste like a little bit of like a watered down root beer. I, I feel like if you mix them, it'd be really good. I kind of like the root beer better. Yeah, I actually do too. All Just because right. it's sweeter. I'm going to take the kombucha then. You can take the root beer. Oh, I don't care. I was going to say the Olipop is better. I do like the Olipop more. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it is kind of like a watered down root beer. It's not bad though. It's good. No, I'll do that. I'll do the kombucha. I don't care. Adam's gonna finish root beer. I'm gonna do the kombucha. Right. I like it. It's good. I would give this a. It almost tastes just like kind of carbonated juice. Yeah, it's it, it's got good flavor. I like. I like this one actually. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I like this more. I'm gonna give this one an eight, and I'm gonna give the root beer a seven and a half. I'm gonna give both of them a seven. Okay. So starting with salty things, we have these. I've seen a lot about these from Trader Joe's. So these are their egg bites. They're mm -hmm. supposed to be similar to the Starbucks ones. I'm guessing they come in paper cups like this. There's two in there, so they are cheese, spinach, and kale, fully cooked. They are gluten-free, and for both of them, it's two points. So each one is a point. Uh, it's eight grams of fat, 150 calories. Then there are seven carbs and 12 grams of protein for both of them. So yeah. I just wanted to show the packaging, which, of course, you can't even really see it yeah. with the sun. Right. But I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the microwave. That's how they say to cook them. It just says microwave in the portable paper tray for 60 seconds. So this would be something that would be easy for Adam to bring to work instead of like the Jimmy Dean. I mean, this would be more filling if you brought just like Ezekiel and had these oh, because definitely. they do look pretty decent size. They almost look like, they look like the Starbucks ones, like almost exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what they're going for. So they almost look kind of like the Starbucks egg bites. So I'm going to pop these in the microwave really quick. They are pretty big, like I said. Steve for one point. This is half of one and they smell really good. So we just threw them in the microwave in the paper cups for one minute like it said. I mean we can They're try. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay those are really good. Those might be better than the Starbucks one. <laughs> those are like perfectly fluffy. They're kind of garlicky. Wow. Those are really good. Those are very good. They almost taste kind of like spinach squares because you really taste the cheese. Really good. And the I was, garlic. I was gonna say hot sauce would be really good on those. Oh yeah, and even just those on a sandwich. If you like cut them in half and then laid four out, yeah, those are really good. Yeah. I really like those, especially for a point each. I'm about to just eat it while it's still warm. Sometimes with those type of things, they're kind of like rubbery or like eggy or just like weird. Those were like perfectly fluffy. I give those a nine. I was gonna say nine and a half. Those are really good. Yeah, I don't remember the price on them, which we should have checked because if they're expensive, that kind of sucks. But. For a quick grab-and-go meal, those are convenient. Those would be nice for you to bring to work, I think. 60 seconds heated up, like, perfectly, too. Like, that's not, that's an easy breakfast. Good. Yeah, next up, let's do, we have, like, no chips this time, which we usually yeah. always have so many chips, but we have a sauce. So, we looked for a few of the G Hughes sauces that people recommended, and we did not have good luck with it. We went to the Walmart that we don't usually find the most stuff at, so we didn't have good luck. But we did see the ketchup, which we've never seen before, and so we were excited because we're always looking for a new ketchup option. We do like the Trader Joe's organic ketchup. It's a point for the serving we use usually, but 
We saw that G Hughes has a ketchup, so we figured we'd try it. And it is five calories for a tablespoon, zero points. You can have up to three tablespoons for zero. If you have four tablespoons, then it becomes one point. I hate jar ketchup. I was gonna say a bottle ketchup. I hate that at like restaurants or everywhere. It smells like ketchup. We realized that two of the things we made today we could have had with ketchup, but actually then it will take away from tasting it. So we made ourselves some chicken. So this is just the Members Mark uh, classic chicken, whatever, the one that tastes like Chick-fil-A. And we're gonna try it in the ketchup because we do like chicken with ketchup sometimes and I figured this would be the chicken we would do it with. So yeah, zero points, it's five calories for the tablespoon and a carb. So, Ooh. cheers. Cheers. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. The spices are good. It almost has like a little sweetness to it, which is really good. Yeah, it's definitely sweet. It says it's sweetened with sucralose and... That's good. I don't know, it's not too tomato-y though. It's like no. kind of like a different, it almost, it's kind of like horseradish-y almost, yeah, though, maybe? That, I really like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nine. Yeah. I think this will be like a staple that we start using this one. Definitely, I was gonna say nine, because I'm a big ketchup guy and that <laughs> tastes exactly like it. I actually kind of like that there's a little sweetness to it. Yeah, it has it's a good. unique flavor. It doesn't taste just like plain Heinz ketchup. Mm -hmm. Okay, next thing we're gonna try, let's try the jerky. Yeah. Okay, I'm nervous about this. So this is, I don't even know, just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> this is a plant-based jerky. The brand is Gotcha. We got the teriyaki flavor, so this is what it looks like. The serving for half of this bag is 50 calories. It's got five carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein. And it is one point, so this whole bag is two points. Which is not bad, especially when we have like a chomps for two points, but I don't know what I think Let's about see. this plant-based. <laughs> Let's see. I tried a mushroom one one time and she wasn't a big fan. I, I kind of liked it. But. Okay, so. Ooh, it smells good. It looks like a dog treat, honestly, but does. jerky usually does. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It honestly just tastes like jerky. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor of it. It's like a little bit softer than like a normal jerky. And the flavor's good. Like I said, for two points for the whole bag, that would be a filling snack and it's got 24 grams of protein in the whole thing. So, 100 calories for the pack. And yeah, I think because it's a low point. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. What do you give it? I'd probably give it like an eight and a half. I like the flavor and it's very low point for a decent amount of jerky. That was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say eight. I think it's good. I don't know. I don't know why the plant based thing kind of freaks me out because just knowing it's not like meat. But I mean, it tasted really good and yeah. it seemed like it was real. Yeah. So, interesting. I kind of like it wasn't as tough as beef jerky. Right? Came okay. Out. Next up, we have some veggie tots. So, we really like a lot of the different green giant vegetable products they have in the freezer section. So we got these for the first time. These are their sweet potato and cauliflower veggie tots. This is what they look like. And the serving for six pieces, actually it was frustrating because we scanned it in the store quickly. It told us it was three points. We came home and entered and it was actually five points. So it is higher point than we would hope for. Uh, five points for six pieces, but they're actually bigger pieces than I expected. I think it'd be a good side. So, yeah, just another side that we could have with like burgers and stuff. We're always trying to mix that up, and we really like sweet potatoes anyway. So, four six pieces, five points, 170 calories. It's got seven grams of fat, 24 carbs, two grams of fiber, four grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So, what we did is it says you can bake them, but we just went ahead and air fried them, and we're gonna see what we think. So, I'm just gonna pop it open. Oh, it almost just looks like mashed sweet potato in there. It doesn't look like there's that much cauliflower, but oh, these are hot. Peace. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are hot. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, those are really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's actually like really crunchy on the outside. I didn't mm -hmm. think it'd be that crunchy. They have like a subtle cauliflower flavor, but it really just tastes like mashed sweet potato. Yeah. It's really good. But the outside, yeah, like you said, it gets crispy. Yeah. And it also says one full serving of vegetable in each serving. I think we'd prefer the sweet potato ones, that's the thing. They do have other options. They have cauliflower, broccoli, and cheese, and then cauliflower, cheese, and bacon. Wow. I really like these, because I think you could use these as a breakfast or as a dinner, yeah, like I said. Those would be good in a bowl. Imagine those as a breakfast. Oh, I think we might do that. Be so good. Okay. Those are really good. I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and give those a nine, honestly. I wish, okay, no, actually, take it back. I'm gonna give them an eight, because they're higher point mm -hmm. than I thought, and that kind of sucks, because five points is kind of, like this is five points worth, so to think that that was three points and then now it's five, two points might seem like nothing, but it does matter. So I'm anyway, gonna, I'm gonna agree because I was gonna say nine, but I'm gonna say eight because <laughs> we thought they were three and they're talking them for the points. Yeah. Next up, I found these at Fresh Time, and they are Kushi, Kushi. I think that's how you say that. Croutons. Is that funny? 
Yeah, it's funny. Cushy croutons. So it's sourdough bread, nothing artificial, vegan friendly. The flavor I got is poco picante. It says sourdough bread, olive oil, sea salt, mackerel, lime leaf, aji, amarillo, chili. I don't know if I said that right. You did. But it said that they're good in salad, soup, snack, breadcrumbs, eggs, crushed on tacos, hummus, and feed the birds. Mm. Oh, interesting. Um, but anyway, they're 30 calories for two tablespoons. It is one gram of fat, four carbs, a gram of protein, and uh, I just thought it'd be good to try. It's one point for that serving, so actually, I like to be weird. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out the serving to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is actually two servings, so it is kind of a, it is a small serving. It's like four croutons for one point, but again, you can have two servings for two points, and so I don't know. Two points, right? So this is a two point serving in here. I went ahead and weighed it out, and we're gonna go ahead and try these. Cheers. Cheers. That is a good crouton. Mm -hmm. That is really good. The flavor is perfect. It almost has like a taco-y. Boom. Burst of flavor. That is so good. We don't make that many salads. Although sometimes we do like a Caesar salad or something like that. Uh, or just like a little side salad. So you don't need that much on there. Those are really good. <laughs> These are flavorful. They have a little kick to them too. Mm -hmm. What do you give them? Nine and a half. Those wow. taste so good. I that's that flavoring. It reminds me of those balls that we had. And oh yeah, they're, yeah. They're kind of like the protein puffs you like. So good. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know. We don't usually buy croutons, so honestly, I don't know like compared to others about points and stuff. But the flavor is so good and the crunch and everything. Sometimes croutons have like a greasy feel to them, and those don't at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give those a nine. Those are really good. Okay, then actually. Transitioning into sweet, we found these as well. So this is the same brand, the Cushy Croutons, but these are French toast. So this says sourdough bread, olive oil, maple sugar, and Saigon cinnamon. This one that says is good on as a snack, yogurt, ice cream, feed the birds, soup, salad, cottage cheese, and cereal. As cereal. With a question mark. <laughs> With a question mark. <laughs> uh, but soup, this would actually probably be really good in like a butternut squash type soup. Okay, we're gonna have to try that. It's almost soup oh, season. Oh, Adam's so excited. Yes. Okay, so French toast. Again, same exact nutrition. It's 30 calories for two tablespoons, a gram of sugar, a gram of protein, four carbs, and it's one point for the serving. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like cinnamon toast. Mm -hmm. I like the spicier ones better, like the seasoned ones, just because it's so much seasoning. Mm -hmm. Those are good, and I'm excited. I think we're going to use those in soup. Oh, definitely. Butternut squash soup. Yeah. What do you give the pinchos? Nine. The other ones are, uh, the burst of flavor was really good, so I'm going to give those a little 0.5 down, so I'll give those a nine. I'll give these an eight. So um, nine for the Poco Picante. Next up, we have the Fulfill Protein Bars. So we've tried a couple of these before. They sell them at Trader Joe's, but we've never seen chocolate peanut butter. And we usually like them. They are very similar to Bear Bells, which we really like, uh, but we usually say they're a little bit smaller in size. Everything else is similar, but Bear Bells don't have a peanut butter one, really. They have a salty peanut. Yeah. But this one specifically says chocolate peanut butter, so we're gonna see. These are non-GMO, gluten-free. One bar is six points. It's got 160 calories, six grams of fat, 15 carbs, a gram of fiber, one gram of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. There are eight grams of sugar alcohol. And yeah, let's see the size. So I can already tell you, they are a little bit smaller than Bear Bells. Maybe like half the size of a Bear Bell? Right? Or would you say yeah, like I'd three be... quarters of a bear yeah. ball? Yeah. So it's good. It's just for six points, usually a bear ball is bigger. So that's why we choose those. But let's see how good this is. So yeah, it looks like there's a little layer of peanut butter. There's some crunchy things on top. Cheers. Cheers. It's a lot of chewing, but that's really good. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a bear ball. It's like a peanut butter yeah. bear ball. It almost kind of tastes like the salty peanut one. Yeah. It's good though. I definitely like them, especially if you can't get bear bells. Like I said, the only difference is really the size. It's usually bear bells are five to six points, just a little bit bigger. So I really like that though. It's a good consistency. I like how chewy they are. Yeah. But not like, not like chewy. It's almost like a nougat chewy. So yeah. What do you give it? Probably give it an eight. Yeah. I like the flavor, but yeah, like the size was a little smaller than bear bells. So Out of the other ones we've tried of theirs, do you remember? I can't remember. I think I like this one more though a little bit. I feel like there was one that I was like obsessed with, but I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> there was like a caramel nut I think that we like. I think that one was really good. But this one's got good flavor and I love peanut butter. Yeah. But yeah, I think because of the size, I'll give it an eight. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an eight. It's really good. Yeah. Okay. The next thing we're trying another peanut butter thing. So I had to grab this because of Adam, but this is just another one of those Lily's chocolate bars. So we've tried one of these before and we really liked it, but this one's peanut butter filled. So we had to do it. So it is dark chocolate. It is stevia sweetened. 
no sugar added. It's gluten-free. The serving for 30 grams of the bar, which is, it says there's two and a half servings in the whole thing. It's 150 calories. The whole bar is 380 calories. It's 12 grams of fat for that smaller serving, 14 carbs, eight grams of fiber, and it has three grams of protein. So let's go ahead and see. So the whole bar is 17 points, but the serving is six points. Okay, so it comes with eight little squares like this. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a bite. But like you said, 17 for the whole thing, but six for the serving. Cheers. Cheers. I like that it's dark chocolate. Obviously I like when the peanut butter is very sweet like a Reese's, but that's almost more of just like a subtle peanut butter. It's not like too sweet. That's really good. You get more of the chocolate than the peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like one square would be satisfying after dinner. Oh, that's yeah. good. That was a lot just having that. Yeah, it's pretty like it's pretty rich. Uh, rich. That's what I was Boom. looking for. I was gonna say thick. Finish each other's sandwiches. Ah. Okay. Rated. Next up. Rated. Oh, we didn't oh, rate it. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I was gonna say nine and a half, but because the whole bar is seventeen, I'm going to nine. Oh, you think that's too high? Yeah. I don't know. I think okay. so. Interesting. I like. Honestly, I'd probably want a little bit more peanut butter, but that's just because I'm obsessed with peanut butter. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's kind of like a subtle peanut butter flavor, yeah. but it's it's good. We went to Vitamin Shop and found these. We've tried a different brand of Pop Tarts before, but I thought it'd be interesting to try these. I've seen a lot of people have them, and usually I see people enjoy them, so we'll see what we think. But we got the chocolate cake flavor. This is the brand Legendary, and it's a flavored tasty pastry. It has 20 grams of protein in the whole thing. The other flavor we got is blueberry, but we're gonna try the chocolate one first. So for this chocolate one, it's 170 calories, eight grams of fat, 24 carbs, 20 grams of protein. So it says, remove from wrapper, microwave on low for 10 seconds, filling and icing may be hot. So it actually tells you to mi microwave it. Oh. I say we try microwaving this one. The blueberry or the chocolate? Oh, they both say to microwave them. So th I haven't seen anyone microwave them before though, so. Wanna try a bite not in with? I think we should just microwave the chocolate one. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, So, this whole thing is oh. four points. <laughs> looks like a thick Pop-Tart. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It looks like a pool float. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just toss this in the microwave for 10 seconds like it says. I didn't realize that until now, yeah. so let's see. I don't know if it really warmed it up that much, but... Oh yeah, it is. It's yeah. a little soft. Yeah. Okay. So it does have a filling on the inside, and like I said, it's got the frosting with the sprinkles. It smells good. <laughs> it smells good. Cheers. Cheers. I kind of like it. Me too. Like when I first bit into it, I was not sure. Mm -hmm. But now that like I eat it, I got better as you went. I mean, it definitely has a protein taste, but when you're getting a pop tart with 20 grams of protein, that's kind of what I expect. <laughs> yeah. um, it to taste a little bit more like a protein bar. I thought it was gonna be like almost crunchy, like a little bit like a pro like a pop. No, it's like a cake. Yeah, that's it's like soft and. Yeah. So very similar to like a cakey, and the filling's good. If mm. anything, I think the chocolate on the top's my least favorite part. Really? It's kind of got that like cooling thing like we always uh, talk about with like fake sugars. Mm -hmm. I like, it's almost like chocolate bread. Yeah, it's really like soft and doughy almost. The blueberry one is actually 180 calories, the other one was 170, but everything else is the same with that. It's also four points for the blueberry one. We tossed that one in the microwave as well. So this is what the blueberry one looks like. It's got like sugary sprinkles instead of <laughs> Jimmy's. Got I some blueberry filling in there. Oh yeah. It smells good. I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It tastes like a blueberry Ooh, pop tart. Either. That is good. I like this one better. I didn't expect to like these as Me much. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if microwaving them makes them really, I mean, they're probably good without it. Wow. But... Okay, the blueberry one's really good. Mm -hmm. That was only 10 seconds. The inside like it's hot. Oh my gosh. The filling's perfect. Yes. And actually, and I like the crust better. Okay, yeah, 100% I like the- Wow. Oh my gosh. That was good. <laughs> that was not exciting. Why do we get so excited? <laughs> we love good food. Oh my gosh, seriously. That is really good, especially because this has 20 grams of protein. Like this one, right? I, I don't taste the protein. That I would totally eat after the gym. So good microwaved. It is gluten-free and keto-friendly as well. I don't think I mentioned that, but. Um, I think blueberry, I'm gonna give, oh, I'm gonna give it a 10. You're gonna give it a 10. You're gonna give it a 10. That one's really good. I was not expecting that at all. The, right? shock, the shock factor boosted it up to 10. <laughs> I kind of want to give it a 10 too, because like, I want that as dessert now. Yeah. Like Imagine that. that after a workout, oh my gosh. These weren't like, I don't, you heard about them? I've never heard about them before. Yeah. Those were good. I, I, I definitely recommend microwaving though. Yeah. I feel like that made them so much better. Like it tastes like a baked good right yeah. now. The chocolate one, I'd probably give like an eight and a half compared yeah. to that one now. I agree. Cause that chocolate one's good. But when you compare it to that, holy. Wow. 
That was I'm impressed. Insane. Oh my gosh, we got a 10. I'm yeah. going to give it a 10 too, and Boom. I'm going to give the chocolate an 8. Boom. Yeah. Chocolate was good, like I said, but last thing we have to try is yes. another round of these Kodiak balls. So we've tried the birthday cake ones before. We loved them. I know we talked about them in the video, and I don't think we even talked about liking them that much like when we first tried them. But we had them all week, and we were like looking forward to the morning to have them for breakfast because we really, really enjoyed them. So they're Kodiak's protein balls. So this flavor we got today is oatmeal dark chocolate. For the dry mix, it's just a bag of dry mix, and then you add it to some ingredients. So the dry mix alone for a quarter cup, which is a 14th of the package, we actually made 18 balls instead of 14, but anyway, for that serving, it's 110 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 14 carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and seven grams of protein. So what you're supposed to do is you put the bag of mix in, you add three quarter cup of any peanut butter or nut butter that you want, and then a third cup of honey or any liquid sweetener, and then a third cup of water. So what we did is we put the bag in and we went ahead and just tracked the nutrition as like a recipe. So we went to the WW Recipe Builder, we put the bag of mix in, then we did nuts and more, they're just regular peanut butter spread, but I actually did a little less than three quarter cup. I think I wanna say I only did about a half cup. I really didn't do as much. Each ball would have still been the same amount of points even if I did a little bit more peanut butter, but I just didn't wanna use that much nuts and more. Yeah. And I knew it worked last time when I did a little less. But then I added the water and then instead of honey for zero points, I added the Lakanto maple syrup. And that's what this is. So I used a third cup of this for zero points. What you do is you mix it all together and then you make it into balls like this. And last time I made half of them into like a cookie shape, but we decided we like the balls better. Like I said, I built it as a recipe. So I made it as 18 servings instead. And I just used my scale to weigh them out equally. And we got 18 balls. So each ball comes out to four points with the way we did it. You can do it however you want, whatever sweetener you want to use. It might be higher point. But uh, that's just what we went with. So They're dense. They are dense. And they are filling. Like, you wouldn't think, like, you're kind of eating them for a minute. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. I love there's, like, a crunchiness in it. There's chocolate chips. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> this is something we could even come up with on our own and kind of make a homemade version. But for convenience and everything, it really is quick and easy to throw them together. And... Four points for one of these is not bad. This is like really good after I get home from a skate or something and I just want to get some protein in really quick. 10 grams of protein in one little wall is not bad. So, Boom. what do you give them for points? Do you like these or the birthday cake ones better? I think I actually like the birthday cake. I think I actually like the birthday cake better. Yeah, I do too. I think there's, I, these are good because it's chocolate and peanut butter, which is like right up my alley. But I think yeah. the flavoring of the birthday cake was just different and better. Yeah. I agree. I don't remember what I rated the birthday cake ones, but I'd probably give these a nine just because really? I, I love these protein balls so much. I'm going to give them an eight. Okay. Yeah. So Nothing too bad today, though. We had a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so really quickly, just running through what we got. Got these veggie tots from the freezer section in Walmart. Also got this gotcha jerky from Walmart. The ketchup was from Walmart. The fulfill bars, I want to say I actually found these at Target or Walmart. I can't remember. But we did get the Pop-Tarts at Vitamin Shop. I'm going to look and see if I can find those other places. I got the croutons from Fresh Time. So these are the French toast ones. And then these are the ones we liked even more. But I got them both at Fresh Time. Yeah, the Lily's Chocolate Bar. I have seen these actually at Walmart and Target, but I bought this one specifically at Fresh Time. I got these from Walmart, but I know that they have them at Target as well. Oh my gosh, we forgot something. I almost forgot that we had one more thing to try. Oh my so gosh. We have a lot. We had a lot today. Yeah, right? I think that's why. But I was so excited about this and then I forgot, forgot we were doing it. But Three Wishes is a cereal company and they actually sent us a pack of cereal to try. So we're going to go ahead and go through these. Yeah. We don't want to open all the boxes at once, so we're going to pick three of them to try first. And what these are, they have more protein than normal cereal, way less sugar, and they're grain free. For the serving, it is 130 calories for three quarter cup. That's three points, which is not bad for a cereal, especially if it's a sweet cereal. We'll see how sweet these are, but 130 calories two grams of fat, 20 carbs, three grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and eight grams of protein. They're pretty much just made with chickpea, tapioca, pea protein, organic cane sugar, and monk fruit. It says no wheat, no corn, no rice, no dairy, no oats, peanut free, vegan, no soy, gluten free. Dang. So this is what it looks like. The brand is Three Wishes. And we're gonna start with the frosted. We thought that'd be a good one to try first, but we're also gonna be trying the fruity and then the cocoa. So both of these are pretty much the same when it comes to nutrition. They're all three points for the serving, 130 calories, eight grams of protein. So like I said, that's high protein for a cereal. Yeah. I like their boxes too, their packaging's yeah. cute. We've been recommended these too. 
Yes, I have been asked to try these, so I thought it was so convenient when they asked if they could send some for us to try that I'd actually been recommended by people to try them. Those are big. I think you have to have like a handful yeah. to try, you know? Yeah, you got a little... So, they're a little big little... <laughs> big little, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Big little. Cheers. Cheers. It kind of just tastes like regular cereal. Those are good. Seriously. The frost is a little sweet. Those would be really good with your yogurts. Oh yeah, that would be a good yogurt topping. Also in like snack mixes like we have yes. to make. Okay. I like it. Frosted no weird good. sugar taste no. or anything like weird. They have a good sweetness to them. We're gonna try chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes just like Cocoa Puffs. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. Cocoa Puffs or Cocoa Pebbles? Either one. More cocoa pebbles, I think. But like crunchier. I like how crunchy they are. Yeah, they're really crunchy. Okay, I fruity. Think, I think these two together might be good too. Fruity chocolatey. A little chocolate fruity. Oh, and then this is what the fruity one looks like. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like Fruit Loops. Those are good. <laughs> yeah, I like those. Which one do you like the best out of the three? I, I like the frosted ones, okay, actually. Okay, I was gonna actually say that my favorite is probably fruity and then frosted and then chocolate. Yeah. Okay, mine's frosted chocolate fruity. Oh. Weird. We're weird. backwards now. Ooh. It's definitely something new. Honestly, we don't eat much cereal anymore. Uh, we never have been big cereal eaters, but this might get me to start because honestly, with some cashew milk, that would be a good quick breakfast. And for three points for a three quarter cup, that's not bad. Especially because the cashew milk is zero points. Yeah. I like those. That was good. Yeah. Glad we remembered that. <laughs> yeah, we almost forgot. I know, I've been excited to try them. They've been sitting here and I've been wanting to try them, but I'm going to give them all the same. I'm just going to give them all. An eight. How many of them all an eight? That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're good. They're, good. they're yeah. a good substitute or better option, if, especially if you want something that's like gluten free, dairy free, everything free, <laughs> and higher protein. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I think I'm gonna start using them in like snack mixes, like I said. I'm gonna try yogurt, like he mentioned. That would be really good. So, and we also have other flavors to try, but we're just gonna wait on those. But we also have cinnamon, honey, and then unsweetened, which maybe I could do something with the unsweetened, like a dessert. That would be good. So the cereal I can link. I want to say they're available on Amazon, but I'll double check. Uh, but what else did we not mention? So the egg bites, Trader Joe's. Those are really good. I forgot how good those were. Very good. And then I think drinks. we pretty much said everything else. The drinks we got from Walmart, mm -hmm. this, and then, well, no. This drink we got from Walmart, and then Adam's, the root beer, was from Trader Joe's. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite thing? Favorite salty... I'm gonna go with these, the croutons, the Poco Picante really? croutons. Those were amazing. I I don't usually pick a sauce because usually it's like a sauce, or whatever. But the ketchup's really good. But I actually really like the tots. I'm really liking those. those but the egg good. bites. Oh my gosh, the egg right, bites. We had so some good. good stuff today. I can't even pick a favorite salty, honestly. So they're all really I. good. Boom. It was like a perfect tie between all of them, <laughs> even though we gave them all different numbers. You know. We, that's what always happens is we rate them at the moment and then we think about I know. it later. Okay, what's your favorite sweet? Uh, the blueberry, blueberry pop tart. tart. Yeah, I have to agree with the blueberry pop tart. I really like it. Flour. Right? You have more left. Do you want to switch? No. No. I was okay. saving it for a reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that wraps up our video for today. I hope you guys found it helpful. We got some suggestions, but we're always looking for more. So yes. if you want to leave them in the comments, we will add them to our list. But hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And we will see you next time.